this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video I want to show you how you can change the opacity of the crop tool in the preview window. When you use the crop tool in Elements, you drag diagonally across the area you want to keep. So here's the crop tool in the tool palette. Just click on that. And now if I drag diagonally with that, you can see that it gives me a preview of what my crop is going to look like. The part of the photo that will be cropped away is darkened. This preview gives you an opportunity to adjust the cropping before you commit to the cropping. So you can pull it out or pull it in or move it around or whatever you want to do. And then once you get it the way you want you can click on this green arrow to commit to the crop or you can click on the cancel button here. So I'm going to click on the cancel button. Sometimes I like to make mine darker and sometimes I like to make it totally black. You need to get to your preferences. So if you're on a Mac, go under the Photoshop Elements menu, choose Preferences and Display and Cursors. If you're on a Windows computer, go to the Edit menu and choose Preference, Display and Cursors. That will open this dialog box and down at the bottom you can see there's a crop tool area. To make the cropped out area preview as totally black, crank the opacity up to 100 percent. So that will make it totally black. And if you just want it darker, try 90 percent. So you could do that. Let's make it 100 percent black so it'll be totally black. And then just click the OK button and now the next time you use the crop tool it will reflect those changes. So there you have it and you can still adjust it and everything. It's just that you don't have the rest of the photo showing through. I'm going to cancel that. You can go into preferences again and there's a little checkbox where you can turn off the shield completely. So if I say OK to that and then make a crop you can see now I just get the bounding box. So that gives you some other options when you use the crop tool. I hope you found this tip helpful. To see lots more information on how to use Photoshop Elements, visit my website at EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Until next time, take care.